A Tacoma rock band has been busy recording, performing, gathering fans, and filming a reality show. Riot and Rhythm has been at it since before they were old enough to get into the clubs where they play to packed crowds. And not one of them is even 21 yet. With a couple of CDs under their belts, they're gearing up for a huge concert at Comcast Arena and that reality show we mentioned. We are thrilled to have them here performing an acoustic version of their song, Vicious Circle, which they recorded with the Seattle Symphony. Please welcome Riot in Rhythm. The lead singer and rhythm guitarist for Riot and Rhythm, and the band's co-manager David Delay. Hi, how are you guys? Pretty good. You how wrote about you? that song? Yes, I did. And well, not just me, but the whole band. When you guys were how old? Um, ooh, let's see, 15, 16. What? <laughs> I mean, I wrote the lyrics, but uh, all the guitar parts were Alex and everybody else's parts. That's I wish Jared had his drum set here. That's that cooler. awesome. Introduce us to your bandmates, would you please? Um, we have Jared Lewis on the drums right now. We Hi have there. We have Christian Casper, uh, the bass player. Hello. And uh, <laughs> Alex Critchlow. Great. Nice to meet you guys. It's wonderful to meet you guys. Now, you guys have been performing since you were pretty young. I mean, at least yeah. to an old person like me, this seems quite young. Um, and you're obviously super talented. I love your influences. I'm a big Metallica fan. You might not know that looking at me, wow. but it's true. Um, I love Three Inches of Blood, Lamb of God. So you wouldn't know these things, wow. right? No. Unless, unless you came to visit no. me, so I'm glad. Oh my uh, <laughs> so how'd you guys get together? Um, we all met at Wilson High School. Uh, nobody knew each other. I knew Christian. We are friends in elementary, but uh, high school brought us together, and um, we just started practicing. Went through a lot of tryouts, a lot of singers, and 
because I was playing drums and it took us a while to convince Jared and get him on track. But <laughs> <laughs> Jared, thank you for joining the program. I'm glad you're on track. And uh, Christian was the last one to join the band. And once we got him, it just took off. And, and the I chemistry think you guys just had worked and everything happened. Limitless, limitless futures. David, you're making a reality show. Now, I'm old enough to remember the original VH1 behind the scenes stuff, which I always really love. I still love. So, is that part of getting music out in today's, you know, kind of environment where it's it's not the way it was in the old days when you went around to the radio station. Yeah, it's it, the music industry changed so much. We we say it's more like entertainment business now. It's not the music business anymore and this really the concept behind the show is really the VH1 behind the music before they're famous. So we're going to just show the struggles and everything that the band has to go through to get out and tour and, and gain fans and, and right. give it a shot. Let's right. put the music out to everybody all at once and see what happens. Excellent. I think you're going to have a lot of luck. Now, I think this is so interesting. In May, Riot and Rhythm performs at Comcast Arena. I want to get this right. The West Coast Adrenaline Tour, which includes motocross, BMX, skateboarding, and live bands. Now, if that doesn't get you going, I don't know what will. <laughs> <laughs> Super caffeinated. Are you looking forward to that? Absolutely. You guys sound great. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. I know it's early for musicians, for you music people. Thank you very much. <laughs> we you. love you. We've posted more information online about Riot and Rhythm and their upcoming shows, and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter, of course. So one last round of applause, please. To be very and we'll be right back.